Hey, um, it's it's me. It's Lauren. Hi. Um, I'm just gonna do like a little quick update. This, this is the like latter part of uh, day ten. For some reason, that just sounded dumb to me. Is that right? Ladder? Yeah. Uh, um, sometimes I have like a momentary <laughs> lapse in my brain where I just like forget how to process information and have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, that's only been happening the past couple days, but <laughs> I just go through, I almost feel like manic a, a bit and, and then you kind of will. It's like, I've, so pr <laughs> I've so <laughs> Sorry, described it to some people as like, I feel like I'm have multiple personalities, and or that I'm like on a bad acid trip and just took like a, a bunch of crack too because I'm like so kind of manic and paranoid and um, I don't really want to be around anybody. I mean, I don't know, look at my hair. Ah. Um, but physically, I'm much better. Um, the physical withdrawal is not easy, but it's the it's the easier part of this type of withdrawal, suboxone. Um, and um, yeah, it's it's mostly mental. So um, I'm really trying to sleep. I would really like to get um, an actual real <laughs> night's sleep. So I'm trying all kinds of different stuff and. Um, I just got some Phenergan too because I haven't been able to keep food really in my body and I'm really nauseous and um, Phenergan has a natural kind of drowsy sedative effect which um, people would argue that anybody with like a past uh, history of uh, addiction maybe shouldn't use it because they are like looking to get high but I don't know I, I have no interest in that I, I'll say it again that this last time I was I had a dependency, and then previously I had an addiction. So um, I know that like once you're an addict, you're always an addict or whatever. Um, but shit happens in life, and things change, and uh, there's ups and downs. And anyways, I'm not gonna get into uh, that right now. The the politics of those two things, but um, I'm doing better gradually. This is usually the kind of point where the physical draw is kind of tape start going away and then the mental stuff is just what you feel and you kind of feel like you're losing it. Um, I still get like a little bit of temperature fluctuation um, and heart po heart pounding but that's mainly from my anxiety. I'm going through divorce like I said pretty sure that's where most of my anxiety is from right now anyways um, not even just from the withdrawing just for the fact that I know in the back of my mind like in a week that I have to sign a bunch of divorce papers and the divorce is already real like I'm already separated um, but signing it's kind of like putting the icing on the cake you know um, and it's sad it's sad I, I care greatly for my soon-to-be ex-husband. Um, he's a good person, we're both good people, but uh, other things in life have happened that have brought us apart and we can't be together anymore. Um, I'm not gonna, again, not gonna get too much into that because I'm gonna start to cry because I'm pretty emotional. Um, but yeah, so I'm just avoiding people and Facebook for a few days and um, just kind of hanging out with my dogs and talking to myself or a camera technically to whoever watches the video but um yeah just uh really focus um and and if you're mentally prepared like I've said before you can do it um if you need help like to ease your symptoms and stuff try to stick to everything that's natural like I mean I've said before like I for the past two months I've been working out and like changed my diet and been taking supplements and everything and that's helped um, I, and I'm doing like a B12 sibling wool um, now under my tongue, um, which is kind of weird. Tastes like cherry, whatever. But um, it helps with energy during the day. And I and I am a vegetarian and need uh, B12 supplements like necessary. Um, and I just got a new sleep aid that I'm gonna try um, that actually has L-tryptophan in it um, at a really high milligram, so it actually has like the uh, drowsy effect, but um, we'll see how that goes. If it's good, I'll post about it, but uh, otherwise I'm just gonna hang out and um, I won't post a video again unless like there's some serious changes. I feel like yesterday and today and the next few days are probably gonna be around the same type of 
feeling. Um, but who knows? I just try to stay positive. So, again, if you're going through the same thing, I understand. Um, just be positive and don't let anybody talk, tell you what they think that they know about you as a person or your addiction or your dependency or what you've gone through with medications. Um, millions of people are prescribed prescription medication that is physically addicting and mentally addicting, not just opiates or Suboxone or Xanax or things like that, antidepressants. I mean, they're... Pharmaceutical companies are a joke. <clears throat> anyway, I'm not going to get into that either. Just wanted to give an update um, about how I was feeling and um, just a little bit of support. If you need any support, uh, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here somewhere. In here, I'm there. Um, and I'm usually a pretty intelligent person. A little scattered right now, but uh, I'm getting there. So, yeah. I don't know. Thanks for listening. Really appreciate it. Sorry for rambling.